In this video, I am going to show you how to create a working daylight system for your Fortnite Creative UEFN maps. So, I'm going to start off with the in-game UEFN creative map stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a device called the day sequencer and what we will do is we will put down two of these anywhere in our world. So what we are going to do is we are going to give these uh, we're going to put a timer on one of these, so, or both of these. So this one will be, uh, let's just call this one day. So we will, uh, we will keep this mostly how it is. And then we will go down to where it says uh, day night cycle mode. And then we will go to fixed time. So this will allow us to keep the time as it is and then we will switch over to the other one which will be the uh, night day sequencer. So, uh, so on this one, this one shall be night. What we will do is we will override sky and then what we will do is then find an option for because we want to sort of get rid of the sun in this day sequencer and replace it with the moon and then we also want stars so I like to make them uh, really really bright just so then you can see them I think that Good to me. Yeah, let's say that looks perfect. And then what we will do is we will do the same to this one. So we will uh, set this one to fixed time. So we need to adjust this time up here to what we want it to be, which will be uh, night. So just set it to, uh, here for now. Now, what we now need is we now need to set up a timer which will tell these uh, day sequences to interact with each other. So what we will do is we will place this timer here. Mind you, not there that's too close to the okay well now I know the um, night one's working so what we will do is we will place this here and we'll keep our timers uh, separate from these um, day sequences I'm going to, for easiness, just name these so then we don't get confused. So this one shall be uh, stage one. And then we'll keep it as a minute um, at the start. And then we will go over and we will set this one as stage two. Now this will help us sort of know which one is which. So this one will be um, the first one. So what we now need to do is make sure these two don't sort of override each other or sort of throw each other out 
So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to connect this one to stage one. And then after this one is completed, I'm going to send make it send a signal to this one to start and then that day sequencer device for the night. So what we will do is we will so we will use enable and disable for this. So what we will do is on this one. So we'll make this one. Um, oh, and this is another important thing. We want to put this on reset. So now our timer automatically resets so that it can be restarted infinitely. And then yeah, so this one we are going to make it start at game start. And the other one we will leave it as off because this one will send a signal to stage two uh, when it is complete. So, so on this one we want on success, we want stage two and then we want it to start and then then we want on um, when stage two is finished we want it to send a signal to this timer to make it start therefore creating a little loop between the two so stage two on success and then that should, the last thing we need to do uh, is to link these devices together. So we've got day sequencer uh, one and day sequencer two. So what we want to do is add them into these stages as well. So what we want is to add day sequencer device two to on success of this timer. Yeah, so we want enable for this one. And then what we also want is for day sequencer one to disable, therefore causing a loop. So then when this one starts, uh, it should, on success, uh, it will start stage one. And what we also, what we also want to do is we want it to restart the process all over again. So this one we will put them in the opposite to each other so they sequence uh, to start with um, we will make that enable and then we will tell day sequencer 2 to disable and then and then we're going to test it out just to make sure it works so they may collide at first thing uh, when you start the game, but don't worry because it should fix itself upon um, the time of completion. So my timer's now started uh, timer two. So after this one, it should go to day sequence uh, one. And there we go. So then it switches over to uh, day sequencer one, which turns into this beautiful sky here. And then, so then after this one, it should start the other one. Um, but I think I have, yeah. So 
I've noticed an issue here that this timer did not start, so I forgot something. So what I forgot to do on the second timer was I forgot to put this one as completion behavior. Oh, not this one. <laughs> the other one. I forgot to put the other one on reset. You need to make sure that both of these timers are on reset, otherwise one may stop and not continue. So I think with my timers I have, because I accidentally deleted that one earlier, um, it has set it onto the night here to uh, start off with after the, um, because this night does not take effect after until after this timer is completed. But as you can see, once that one finishes, it now turns to day. And then, once this timer is up, and as you can see, it turns to night. And then, the whole process starts again. Now that is how you create a working daylight system in UEFN. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.